Hey, how's it going everyone? I hope you all are having an amazing day. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. We are going manga shopping. We are going to a place I've never shown you guys before and one I've only been to three or four times before. But yeah, we are going downtown, which is a place I'd never go to because I fucking hate downtown. I hate that place. Uh, full of crack pipes and, you know, and hookers and shit. <laughs> it's honestly not that bad. It's just way too crowded for my taste. I'm, uh, I'm not a country bumpkin, but I'm not a city boy. Uh, I'm kind of very much in between. I like my quiet neighborhoods. You know what I mean? <laughs> but before I start this video, according to YouTube, I think it's like, what, 80 something percent of you guys that watch these videos are not subscribed. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more, please scroll down and hit that sub button for me. Thank you all so much. Without further ado, let's go manga shopping and buy some manga. I am very, very, very excited to show you guys this place because it is so cool. But yeah, this is a place I don't really go to. I only really try to go here like once a month. It's not really a place I kind of enjoy going to. Not that I say that I don't enjoy going here. It's just, like I said in the intro, it's not my kind of place. It's not really, really, it's not really where I like to spend most of my time. But when I do come here, I do go to Imaginaire. Imaginaire is the holy place for manga and anything nerdy. And uh, this is a recent opening. There was a location in Quebec, but that's obviously pretty far away from here. So when I heard one of these places was opening, I had to check it out. And if there was one thing I am going to absolutely scream about is their figure selection. Their figure selection is the best figure selection I've probably ever seen. It is absolutely stunning. Not only do you have your standard Ban Presto, uh, Ichiban Kuji, you know, and all those amazing figure lines. They have some phenomenal, very large and highly detailed figures that just normal hobby shops and all these other casual kind of manga stores just don't have. They are absolutely amazing and huge, absolutely massive statues that I just love to look at. Uh, they have a lot of statue, uh, a lot of figures from a lot of series like JoJo's, JJK, Tokyo Revengers, a shit ton of Dragon Ball figures, which is something I really want. And uh, yeah, just a solid, super, super, super solid collection of, you know, and some miscellaneous figures as well from random series like Inuyasha, Eden Zero, and all those just phenomenal mangas and anime that everyone just loves. And obviously you can't go wrong with Evangelion, right? When I tell y'all, I have been dying for that Odin and Luffy statue for I don't know how long. I I genuinely can't tell y'all. And those Dragon Ball figures, oh my god, are they absolutely gorgeous. I think the JJK figures are alright, but I want that Odin statue so bad. I'm pretty sure that's like a one-fourth scale Odin statue, and oh my god, is it ever gorgeous. And that fucking Luffy statue! I saw this Luffy statue on TikTok a couple days ago, and I need it! They have that Deku statue and a transponder snail, which is also something I really want. But that Luffy figure, or that Luffy statue, sorry, is absolutely massive. And they have their nice little JoJo section, which is something I'm very jealous of. And, you know, the Demon Slayer section, which is okay. I'm not really a big fan of Bam Presto figures with the big fat black bases, because I just don't think they look that good. But hey, let's stop talking about the figures and talk about what we're here for. And that is the manga. And oh boy, do they have a selection of manga. I am always so astonished by every time I come here. Uh, we're going to talk about some specific series and just, you know, vibe. You know, let, I'll let y'all look at the manga with me and just have some fun. Blam is just that one series I've had my eye on for a very long time, same with Knights of Sidonia, that I've just never had the urge to pick up. And obviously I'm pissed that they don't got no Berserk Volume 10, even though they have literally every other volume of Berserk. I was tempted to pick up Volume 11, but I decided not to because, you know, I need Volume 10 first and they just, you know, don't have it. <laughs> They 
they have a really good selection of Gantt, which is something I've been super tempted to pick back up. I ended up selling my volume 1 to 3, and sadly, uh, I don't know why I did it. It is one of the very few manga I actually regret selling, but, uh, you know, we live with the choices we make, right? And uh, so if I were to pick up Gantt back up, I probably would just start off with volume 4. Now, this was what I was hoping for to find. Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. I ended up watching the movies, absolutely loved them, some of my favorite movies of all time and some of my favorite animes of all time. And uh, I really, really, really want the manga. It looks amazing. Uh, I cannot recommend the movies enough. Definitely go check them out if you're into mecha whatsoever. Absolutely whatsoever. Uh, it, it's a killer movie, absolutely phenomenal. They did also have some Vegabond. I need volume 9 and on, but, uh, you know, I, I, I just, I don't really feel like paying full price for these guys right now, which is like 33, 30 something dollars a volume. Uh, I, I need to read my volume 2 to 10 anyways, or sorry, my 2 to 8 anyways, so I'll just wait until I catch up, and then I'll pick up the rest, because they're not hard to find anymore. They did have Skip and Loafer, though, which was something I was heavily considering because, you know, I just, I fucking love Skip and Loafer. You guys know this about me. Uh, it's a phenomenal slice of life. Again, man, no Super Volume 3. Literally no one and no police has Volume 3. Uh, they did have Volume 12, which is what I need after uh, Volume 11. But, like, I need Volume 3 first. And uh, I didn't know this at the time, but uh, they have full Dragon Ball colored manga release, which I thought was super cool. Uh, this is the Namakek uh, arc, I think is how you say it, or the Namek arc. I don't even know how to spell this shit or even know how to pronounce it, but uh, I loved this arc. This arc was very good. Uh, but yeah, they had some full color Dragon Ball, which is cool. I think in the future I will collect these because I do think full color Dragon Ball is awesome. I just don't think the physical releases look that good. And this is what I mean by manga you just don't find in stores, at least I don't, and that is Ikigami. Uh, I saw this in an East Coast manga video a long time ago, and uh, he really put this on my radar. It does look very, very, very good. But uh, yeah, it's just a series I have never, ever, ever seen in stock at Indigo. Same with Inside Mari, uh, a Shuzo Shimi work I do want to get into. Uh, apparently it's like some older dude gets reincarnated in some younger woman's body. And you know, regular creepy Shuzo Shimi shit that I just will never <laughs> understand, but I do want to check out. And same with Inu Yoshiki. They, they, I've never seen this in store. It's always either online or on Amazon. And same with Interview with Monster Girls. Exact same thing. It's manga you just don't find in person, which I find super interesting. They did have Higurashi too, which was kind of cool. It's wild seeing all of Skip and Beat, or Skip Beat, however, I don't even know how to say it, uh, but I know it's a very long-running manga that uh, a lot of people love. I think it's like 50, 60-something volumes, and another manga a lot of people love is Nana. Uh, I've never read Nana or even seen it, but I've heard amazing things about it. I do want to pick it up, because it does look like a good manga.
And this was what I was talking about. Right next to the light novel section, they have something I've never seen before, and that is French manga. For those that don't know, right beside Japanese manga, French manga is what the biggest, uh, I guess, kind of import for manga is French. Uh, and I am unbelievably jealous of the French <laughs> when it comes to their manga selection. Their manga selection is absolutely stunning. Like those really big master editions of Demon Slayer and hard covers to series that we just don't have and perfect editions to series we just don't have and just volumes all around to series we just don't have. It is crazy seeing all of these amazing mangas that I've been wanting physically for a very long time in French. I think it's awesome. I think it is really, really, really well done. Like those City Hunter volumes. I've never seen those before, and I don't think we have those in English. I would love to own those because, I mean, it's City Hunters. Everyone knows City Hunters. It's just something that I think is very unique. Uh, and same with those Baki editions. Like you guys know, I've been starting to collect Baki the Grappler in French just because I love those physical editions. Holy, they look so good. But yeah, I mean, come on, dude. You can't go wrong with French manga. Now, I may not like the French, yada, 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 and all that themselves, but their manga's kind of cool, I cannot lie. Uh, all the Dragon Ball, all the Fairy Tale, the FMA, and they actually have JoJo Lands in French. I would have picked this up, but... I mean, I kind of want these in Japanese more just because they're a lot cheaper. And I don't really like the spines on the French ones, like the red at the top and bottom. I just don't think look that good. But, uh, oh, man, am I jealous. <laughs> you know, us in English are sitting around waiting for part seven to get physicals. And I own one to three Kengan Ashura as well uh, in French. And these physical editions are absolutely stunning. Uh, I think French knocking out the park with their physical manga releases. I think... It's amazing, and like I said before, the uh, industry uh, for manga in France, or just in French in general, is a lot bigger than in English. It's, uh, you know, an industry that uh, has so much more money to spend than in English, uh, considering, you know, 90% of the world speaks English. It's crazy to think uh, French people get better manga releases. <laughs> it's like, it's to the point where it's like the Japanese and the French are back to back with, with manga releases. Like if ja Japan gets a volume one, so does the French people. It's, it's, I'm just super jealous of it. And it's something... I would, if I knew how to speak French, I'd be buying so much French manga. Now you're wondering, you're Canadian, you should speak French. I don't. I don't speak French. Even though I went through like 10 years of school uh, and French classes, I just don't speak French. None of it never really stuck with me, but you know, it's, it's all right. I can't really complain. And I didn't know there was actually a manga for One Piece Film Red. I loved this movie, by the way. If you guys haven't seen Film Red, you're, you're tripping, tripping. It's an amazing amazing movie me with music from one of my favorite artists right now and uh, they even have volume one of six in like this nice super glossy film like gold look to it like the older one piece gold um volumes now i do have to say i'm not the biggest fan of the french spines for one piece uh but you know i digress i, I guess that's my one little nitpick but yeah they, they obviously already have volume two of ace's side story which is something i'm very excited for in english when that does drop and just a light novel we don't have in English. Uh, and it's just, again, it's, I am jealous. I'm very jealous. Unbelievably jealous. And seeing volumes or series, you know, tons of people have been preaching for a very long time to get physical English releases in French. It, uh, I mean, I, like I said, I'm jealous. It hurts, you know, seeing the French get what we've been dying to get. And, uh, you know, just scrolling through a Sunken Rock volume because you guys know how much of a Boichi fan I am. And uh, I didn't realize how skanky this volume was because you can see me react right there. I didn't know it was that bad. I, I had to put that volume back. But uh, <laughs> uh, it's just funny. Out of every volume I picked, I had to pick this one. And this series is actually one I do want to pick up because it looks like a really good food manga. You guys know I'm a sucker for food manga. And that looked actually really good. I never knew about that one until that day. So that's definitely going on my planning on uh, any list. They even have Vagabond singles, you know, just casually. They don't have the Vizbigs like we do, but they just have the singles casually. If I didn't have this already in English, I would have definitely bought this in French because I just think the Vagabond singles 
singles are absolutely stunning. I, the Vizbix are decent, but those singles are fucking gorgeous. And everything about it is just amazing. I mean, it's Vagabond, right? And everything about it from the physical releases to the contents even inside of those physical releases is just well done. Unbelievably well done. And even with Vagabond, they have Vinlin Saga singles uh, in French as well. And uh, honestly, I like the hardcovers. The hardcovers are nice. But dude, those... I mean, you can't go wrong with single volumes, especially for series that have other variants. Uh, and th they just do so well. And apparently these are further than English, even though Vinland Saga uh, has been on hiatus for a while, or at least a volume just recently dropped. It's been a long time since a, since a chapter came out. But I digress. I don't want to talk too much. But uh, And a series I've recently been reading that I've definitely wanted to pick up is Kingdom. I just recently started my, my read of Kingdom digitally. Obviously, because we don't have it in English, and uh, I honestly, I'm, I'm definitely probably gonna go pick up the manga in French, because I mean, I want to support it, right? I, I definitely want to support it, and those French physical releases for Kingdom are crazy nice. The black and gold, and the nice little slip covers, are like the best you can get for single volumes in French. Like, dude, these are insane. They are like. There's no words can describe how absolutely stunning those physical releases are. And uh, considering there's, what, 60, 70-something volumes of Kingdom, it's going to be a minute before I end up getting any of it. But yeah, I mean, come on. You can't go wrong. Like, dude, come on. Those Banana Fish uh, Perfect Editions or the bigger oversized omnibuses, I guess, shit on the English releases. I'm sorry. These shit on the English releases. They are fucking gorgeous they are stunning releases in, in oversized paper format uh they are paperbacks they aren't hardcovers uh but I'm, I'm sorry but they they shit on the english releases they really do they oh my god um i thought this was a different uh baki release but it's actually just the breaker which is definitely a, a manhwa i guess or is, or is it considered a manga i guess it's definitely a manga i want to pick up and uh, the one thing I do love about the French is they have a shit ton of special editions and little bundles for great prices, like two volumes for like $10, $15. And uh, I didn't film it, but they had the brand new Blue Period release uh, special edition that came with a really nice poster. Uh, or sorry, painting, I guess I should say, because it is on a canvas. Now, you think that's it? You think that's everything? Oh, buddy. Uh, they have a second fucking floor in this building. They have a second fucking floor on this building. As you can see by that big, 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 big fuck of a Pikachu hanging up on the ceiling. Uh, this is no normal second floor. Uh, they have a whole section dedicated to Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon plushes, Pokemon cards, Pokemon figures, uh, and they also have a little section here that I oh, they, they destroy Gundam. Oh, 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 it's not really my kind of kit, but I definitely do think it is cool and uh, like a little third-party kind of Gundam kit, I guess. But uh, yeah, no, uh, I don't really like the second floor all that much because I'm not too into TCG anymore. I was very much into One Piece and Pokemon. I'm not really into them anymore but it is cool to walk around and uh, check it out and uh but what i do come to the second floor for are their gundam selection they have a really solid it's super small but it's a uh, very solid they have a lot of witch for mercury kits and uh, just a lot of solid master grades high grades and like the little chibi gundams that i de that you definitely can't go wrong with that i definitely can't go wrong with that i definitely like uh, they have some vintage ones, and they have some more modern ones. The the uh, very small ones go for like ten dollars, maybe even less. They had the Kishtaria, however you want to say it. We call it the Kishtaria. My friends and I call it the Kishtaria, just because it's an easier way to say it. I definitely was so close to picking that up because it's a kit I've been wanting for a long time. Same with that Buster Gundam. I have the high grade for it. And uh, I've always wanted the Master Grade because I think it's just a really pretty looking Gundam with a really nice color palette that I just, you can't go wrong with it, right? <laughs> if you're a big Gundam fan, you know about the Buster Gundam. And uh, you obviously know about the Gundam Exia. Uh, it's an amazing kit. I don't have any Exia kits because uh, I do want the Perfect Grade Exia because, I mean, that's the bog standard for Exias. And the, but they had the fuck off big 148th scale unicorn, which was absolutely bonkers, which is definitely something I do want to pick up. But yeah, they don't really have that big of a selection. All right, so I am back from Imaginaire. Uh, I got a haul, and I'm going to show you guys. So I picked up one series, but I got 
three specific volumes from that series. So I ended up watching uh, the first and second movie to Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt, December Sky, and Bandit Flower. Uh, I cannot rec recommend those movies enough. Those were peak fucking movies, man. Peak movie. If you want one of the best animated films and one of the best soundtracks to exist, Go watch Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. So, speaking of Thunderbolt, I got Volume 7, Volume 8, and Volume 9. So, this is right after the second movie, which is all there is uh, for movies. And uh, I decided to pick up the manga because, I mean, I'm a huge Gundam fan, for those that don't know. I'm more into the model kits than I am the anime and, you know, the manga. But I do really want to get into the manga, and this is my way of getting into it. Uh, I have a whole video coming up, I hopefully soon, that uh, shows some more manga goodness and Gundam goodness that I didn't end up getting uh, this month. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun for me because, you know, I get to go look at some manga. <laughs> it's always an excuse to go buy some manga. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts of this video down in the description. Thank you all so much. I love you all. I'll see you on the next video. Peace, take care.